Good morning, folks. Before we get going, remember our blog's on the collective page. Just click blog on our website, blog again, and the top story on that page is Mr. Two Tough's introduction and tips for making your own Faraday cage. This one's important. Since I know you have all either seen How to Watch the Sun a while ago, or you caught it after yesterday's news reminded you that it's essential background data for watching this channel, so you should realize a Faraday cage is one of those essential items in the prepper's bag of tricks. Billy's written an article on them. It's a top recommendation. Up next, I've been working with a very creative bloat working in Chile across the globe from his home in the UK. G. Puente de la Vega has taken the data I suggest to be put together for earthquake correlation and he took the aesthetics up a level. This combines the official earthquake records with Stanford solar polarity data it's actually the simplified version of the chart I'm using for the advanced video, which has more on it, kind of a prohibitively large file, but both are going to be made available for download when the video and paper are done. But members who didn't catch the news last night, this simple chart is posted to that page in advance. Paper, video, and independent statistical verification is underway and coming soon. We're going to kick off today's weather watch with Ian again gaining some power but still expected to miss New Zealand on its southward swing. Still well north now and curious if that high is keeping the chill south of southern Australia or if it's getting through. It's come to the Indian Ocean and I cyclone Colin. Solid development but out there in the middle of open ocean with only the fish to perturb. Hope you enjoyed your week off from bad weather in Europe. I know the northeast didn't get much of a break and big waves hit the southwest but the actual severity is about to be back and will be cresting the coastline seen as a strong low in the North Atlantic now. Eyes on the southeastern states. Strong spring-like convergence exemplifying the climate extreme swings. We're going to have severe thunderstorms up the eastern states with a tiny chance of even a tornado today, so keep an eye on it. The old wind map actually does a little bit better job showing that convergence. We also have a strong cell out west cresting the coastline and dropping big water there. Lastly, we'll come down to South America, where the rain bands follow those hooks north up from the southern lows. Let's kick at the space weather, looking first at the thin dark plasma filaments spinning in to face Earth. They are eruption threats. The sunspots of focus are now departing the disk on the right as they regain their magnetic complexity in a solid way. The incoming groups need to build a bit more as it's the departing spots that are slowly trying to bring back the flaring. Very slowly. Solar wind is very calm. NOAA's backed off all storm predictions and, additionally, the polar radiation's almost gone. Technically we're at a level 1 storm, but those are of no concern for us here on the ground. All is calm here at the moment. Check out today's links and keep eyes open. No fear, it's 6.45 a.m. Eastern Time and that's the news. Be safe everyone. 